Where are you? I am home. Can you tell me what this place looks like? It's past whiteness. Mm -hmm. The pillars of light. I traveled here through a white hole. Mm -hmm. the far reaches of this universe. Mm -hmm. And in this place that you call home, I'd like for you to describe to me what type of energy or body you have in this place. feel all living organisms within this creation, inside of me, around me. I feel a rhythm of life, a beat, as if a heartbeat, which is a pulsation of a frequency that is only of this particular region of creation. And all living beings in this creation will beat at that same frequency. Mm -hmm. And in this place that you call home, what do you call yourself? Into human form, you can call me Yana. Yana. Thank you, Yana. In this place, what role do you have? What do you do there? I am creation. I am everything that lives here. Mm -hmm. And nothing at all. I take the form that is assigned through the inquiry of the highest level of consciousness. Can you tell me about this highest level of consciousness? The highest level of consciousness. is like water. It floats in and out of creation constantly. It creates life. It creates death. But all within a unison. Now you said you've been given this role. Tell me about this role. I play many roles at once. Mm -hmm. Since all living organisms are playing within each other at the same time. We all share these experiences, these creations at once. And as I live out these experiences, all other beings, all other expressions of life also live within this expression, within this experience at the same time. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about how it is that your role affects the lifetime of this entity that we call Geraldine. We are all fragments of each other, curiously searching to find ourselves within each other. We live these human lives in search of ourselves, and we manifest and we create relationships and connections with each other in order to find the mirror of ourselves within others. We are a vast network of beings, of life form, within this 
expansive creation of life, this multiverse, mm -hmm. in which at the same time the multiverse is a living organism mirroring itself within other expressions of life that go beyond this expression. So Yana, what is it that she needs to see today? She is searching to see herself once again. Mm -hmm. Can you show her what it is that she needs to see? The human thought form is very small, it's very limited. We believe and we confine ourselves in the human form. We want to believe the external illusion outside of us. We get entangled in the emotional experience. We want to feel, we want to know what it is to feel someone else, to bounce off expression of each other. It's part of the human experience. But once you open your eyes to what you are beyond this limited life form, you understand what a massive creation of life you actually are. Mm -hmm. The journey here is to understand your multidimensionality beyond the physical expression beyond the confines of this human body. It is one of the greatest expressions and illusions of this particular dimension to believe that we are the physical, to believe that all these things that surround us define who we are. So would you take us on a journey today to show us a little bit about this multiverse? Thank you. We begin with life forms that look like cells. Within the cells are the complex expressions of duality. How information is kept and compartmentalized in the human body is exactly how Information is kept and compartmentalized in this multiverse. If you understand how a cell stores information, you understand how the collective consci consciousness on this planet stores information collectively. Every single experience that each one of us has provides information that is then stored in a mass collective as if it is like a computing system. This computing system resonates, translates, and produces information that is then provided to other organisms which it is attracting. As consciousness, consciousness has the ability to decide what it wishes to experience in order to collect experiences. How do we access this information? This information is within every cell of your body. It is simple. All must be understood first by the destruction of the physical illusion. The limited illusion that lies outside of us distracts us from going inside and questioning our human body, the function of information. And once that occurs, we can read the imprint of every cell of the body. Hmm. And it is within that information that we're able to see the larger picture. All organisms share this information. It is just a matter of accessing it on the deepest level. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to access this? It is very difficult as a human to disconnect and to separate yourself from the sensory aspect of the human body. If you take one experience that causes you any kind of stress, pain, 
You question the experiences and the emotions around it. You question if it is true. You question if it is an original thought form that comes from your expression. And by learning how emotions are created and how they are programmed within our mind, we understand the difference between true thought form, true expression, and something that is programmed within the mind. Mm -hmm. At that point, the human now has the ability to discern what is true feeling. It is through this that we understand how those emotions are expressed through frequency within the body. Each emotional imprint, each frequency, provides a signature for the human body. And it's from this understanding that the human begins to dissect what the human is made of, as a human is a range of these expressions, of these imprints, of all experiences that happen in their life since they are born until they die. And all of them are holding massive amounts of information for them to understand how information is exchanged within organisms on the microcosm and the macrocosm. It is a matter of questioning mm -hmm. what is real. Mm -hmm. Recently there's been a lot of acceleration of manifestation within the humans as they begin to question themselves. What is causing all of this manifestation? Are we accessing something else? On the larger scale of things, this entire organism moves and is moving through different ranges of frequency mm -hmm. as well as different dimensions. Not only simultaneously does a human move in and out of dimensions, but this entire organism moves in and out of dimensions, all of which are aligning and realigning themselves in order to allow the organism to experience the highest expression of itself. And through that process, those experiences and those movements in and out of dimensions are what we call timelines. Mm. Timelines are what we experience on a daily basis. What we believe are our daily experiences are actually a manifestation of vibration. They manifest before us in form of people, places, things, emotions. What is occurring on the larger scale is that we are all moving in and out of a frequency, and this causes an acceleration for some organisms on this planet. However, collectively, because everything is constantly moving through a spiral, this entire universe is created on a structure that is very complex. It is the or origin of access of the universe which is crossing a linear timeline, which is perceived as a t linear timeline. And everything within this organism moves within something that we can refer to as a spiral. The spiral is created in a way that it moves in and out of frequencies and dimensions, a range from lowest to highest. The human body also functions in this way the way that energy moves through the chakra system in the body, it spirals around the spine, goes up into the body, and revolves around the human body, creating a toroidal field. In that same way, every living organism is functioning with the same design. This is how we move in and out of dimensions, but this allows the human the opportunity to easily and gently move through these expressions. As long as each organism is not in resistance 
to the new expressions that present themselves within this reality, within this so-called reality, which is truly an illusion that we are living, all the living expressions. Mm -hmm. So we go back to the original thought of us being able to tap into this information. Correct. Mm -hmm. It is part of our design. There is no question. Mm -hmm. Each human is, is consciousness down to the molecular level. Every cell of the body is conscious and aware. If in this moment you become aware of every cell in your body, you understand the elegant design of this universe. If you stand still for one moment, becoming aware of the cells in your body, you will experience a connection to the divine, a connection to this universe. It is one of the ways that the human can easily bring themselves back into this connection. Now you say that we need to be aware of the cells in our body. And yet, if we focus too much on our humanness, don't we lose track of that? The human body must be understood. Mm -hmm. What we don't want to get caught up in is the external illusion, the sensations mm -hmm. of emotion, the expressions. We must be able to discern what is real and what is not. As a human, we experience all things around us from the physical body, from the emotions, the movement. And because we identify with this physical body, we are perceiving it from a very limited perspective. The human form is, is seemingly programmed within our mind to be very fragile, and yet the human body, its parameters, has no limit. Hmm. It is programming that has limited our ability to see what human truly is. Can you tell me when this programming began? The programming of the human race is something that was instilled the moment that this limited existence was created, when the human race was created on this linear timeline called planet Earth, mm -hmm. it was necessary for life forms and organisms to slow down their progression and their understanding of their own organism. And in order to slow down the understanding of infinite consciousness, you must create a very compartmentalized structure of reality, all of which was very carefully manufactured in order to create small boxes of belief. Everything from how a society is run to religion. Can you please take me back to that time? What caused this? belief system is manufactured. What or who is behind this belief system? We are a product of free will. That is all that we are. We haven't understood what free will is. Free will is the ability to experience all ranges of existence. 
from the origin of creation of all life forms within this limited dimension that we now call Earth within these timelines. All life forms that are living here were created from free will, meaning that consciousness decided to explore and experience, control, compartmentalization, and the control of consciousness. What we're experiencing here on this planet are multiple dimensions of existence, of reality. How many do we have? Within this immediate dimension, within this immediate organism that we call a galaxy and a multiverse, there seem to be 24 immediate dimensions that we move in and out of. Hmm. However, those 24 main dimensions can move into thousands of dimensions individually through each human. Because infinite consciousness has the ability of creating infinitely. Hmm. How do we know when we switch from one dimension to another? moment that the human begins to question the experience, the moment that the human begins to explore what they are, um, their awareness, the moment that a human becomes aware, that is when they begin to shift dimension. Mm -hmm. at, their, at this time there seems to be an awakening. This is the moving into different dimensions. This is the movement of coming in and out of dimensions. Mm -hmm. But evolution for the human race, for consciousness, is a natural aspect. It's, it's natural movement of this entire mass organism. All things that were created within this dimension since the original timeline are moving harmoniously within each other. That's why resistance, pain, suffering on this planet is also an illusion, as difficult as it is to understand that. Our immediate awareness of the illusion of these expressions of life from an understanding that even those expressions that are experiencing the suffering are a product of free will, even though we are living in directed consciousness on the highest level. This is a manifestation of free will. So when someone is going through pain, it's resistance. Correct. Mm -hmm. So what do you tell someone who is going through something very difficult? And we say it's an illusion. How can you heal? Yes. Everything that we experience is what our higher self is desperately calling upon us as consciousness to become aware of itself. Everything that we call into our world, into our reality, is what we are manifesting actively. In order to transcend this pain, we must first understand the belief systems that created what we are experiencing. We call upon reality and we manifest all the things that occur around us. What part of you is fearful? What part of you is separate? from your deepest self, questioning the root cause of all of your expressions, of all of your experiences, will allow you to understand pain. Pain is one of the most powerful tools that we have as humans for transformation. A 
as we experience pain, we must understand that all of the horrible things that happen to us that are manifested within the human form are contractual agreements that we make with those that we share the experiences with. It's not a question to ignore the pain that is happening. It's a question to go in deeper into that pain to understand how pain works. If we are experiencing a painful experience, we are mirroring within others the pain that they have gone through. And if we learn to observe that painful experience in this way, it is easier for us to detach from the results of the suffering. As we experience pain, we must dissect the origin of our understanding of how pain is created. Everything in this current reality, in this world, is inverted. Our concepts of life, our concepts of good and bad. And that is part of the illusion that we're talking about. So we must go inside and understand the true form of how life forms experience things. We must understand how the exchange occurs between humans, their interactions, their expressions, their exchanges, in order to understand the true way that pain is manifested within each experience. Each one of us manifests into reality something that we are bringing in from a previous expression, from other fragments of ourselves. And until we become aware of all of those fragmented aspects of ourselves, we will continue to repeat and feel those expressions in our reality. We will manifest those experiences over and over again. This is very important to understand in order to transform and understand what illusion means. Can we go deeper into that? Yes. Are we able to do this in one lifetime? It is possible to do it in one lifetime, but one must be working constantly. This is where becoming human changes. What we are creating now is an understanding of what it is to be a real human. Human is not what we believe to be experiencing through the physical body, through the sensory body. The problem is that humans, we continue to live through the sensory body. We want to feel, feel, and feel. And this turns into a cyclical pattern, almost an addiction. This is how humans, as an organism, lose their homeostasis, their balance. Because if a human is experiencing just the sensory aspect of, of reality, of all experiences, they fall out of balance with understanding the evolution, the growth, the healing that is required from those experiences. As infinite consciousness, we are here to learn, to experience. And our understanding of experience is incorrect. We often think that experience is just to feel, to feel joy, to feel love, to feel hate, to feel pain. But there's something more that has to happen, which is an understanding of how those emotions are processed. Not only are they processed through the physical body, but through how we project our reality. Because everything in existence, every living organism on this planet, is constantly evolving from the seeding of its ex uh, life on this planet to its death. You must take, for example, a flower. It grows into its highest expression as it blooms and then it dies. And in that same way, the human form is made 
to be progressing, to go through cycles of life and death. We are experiencing that on a long range, within a lifespan, but we also must understand that we have to experience that every moment of our day through every emotion, every experience. Emotions are not meant to be dwelled in, kept, or suppressed. They are meant to feel, understand, collect information for our highest expression, and to move through them. This is how we utilize the tools of this human body which is made to feel. That is the purpose of being human on this planet, in order to feel the ranges of these expressions. And thus, healing occurs when you end up on the other side of feeling through these emotional waves of life and death. I've been told a lot that we need to meditate. How does meditation help in this evolution of this human body? Meditation allows the human to separate itself from the sensory stimulation aspect of the human and integrate the many dimensions that it is. We were told that our body is just this physical body experiencing this life around us. We are multidimensional. We are not only experiencing this life, but multiple lives simultaneously. Every moment that we have a memory or a thought come in, or we are moving in and out of dimensional timelines, or we have visions, we are experiencing multiple dimensions at once. And in that same way, in dream time, we are also experiencing the same. Meditation allows the human to organize those experiences. The human organism is so complex. It is like a very complex computing system that is receiving information from all of those lives that it's living simultaneously. And as infinite consciousness, we are almost imprinted living out those experiences on multiple dimensions. But because consciousness is required to become aware of itself, it needs to take time to register, to process what is occurring on those dimensions. In dream time, we have the ability to move through different timelines, which means that time can be sped up or it can be slowed down. We must create that for ourselves in waking time. We must be able to control how we experience these timelines, and for that, the human must disconnect from the stimulation of the external illusion around it. This pain is so deep. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin going deep into this pain. Just dive deep into it. And let's begin to explore this pain. These kind of contractual agreements have an origin that are not of this planet, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a consciousness that infects the human soul in a, in a way. These are the natural expressions of draconian consciousness, mm -hmm. where things are inverted, things are polluted, divine things like love and consciousness are mixed up, mm -hmm. destroyed. And this is something that she took on in order to understand how to break free from these draconian inceptions into the human form. Mm -hmm. Humans that make themselves known mm -hmm. will be inserted with different kinds of programs at different times. Mm -hmm. What they do is they magnify the matrix experience. In other words, the experience within the human form is magnified. They are 
experiencing pain, suffering through the illusion of things that occur around them. Mm -hmm. People and places are put into or orchestrated into experiences to trigger the programs that release chemicals within the body that slow down the progression of evolution. Mm -hmm. This is done on a mass scale, but it's also heightened on individual levels. Why was she brought here to Mount Shasta? There's work here that must be done. Those that come here are here to share vibrational realignment. There is some grid work that will be occurring here during this time. She's like a custodian mm -hmm. of ancestral lineages. Mm -hmm. She cleans up this ancestral connections and contractual agreements with those. Those that come here are preparing for their next round. They are healers, the majority of them. Mm -hmm. And so they are getting prepared for the upgrades that they need require in their life. All those that are here mm -hmm. are preparing for a new page, a new way of living. And so they have come here to get instruction on how to move forward. Mm -hmm. There is education that must occur here, a very clear understanding of our reality. Mm -hmm. I never ask, but do you have a message for me? Help. This is the time for you to come in to unconditional self-love. It is time for you to work on all the aspects of yourself that have been neglected, my love. You have gone through so much in your life as well, but in this time right now, you are being gifted waves and waves of these vibrations of patterns of information that are programming your cells the only thing that is missing is that resistance that you have to open each one of your cells and allow all of these waves of information to reprogram you from the inside out. You are also coming into an expression, a very powerful expression, as you begin to activate parts of yourself that you never thought possible. Just come into a state of love and remember your body from head to toe. In your sessions, remember your body, remember who you are. And everything that comes in is going to program the body from the inside out. Your consciousness is already familiar with all of the things that you're listening. Nothing is new. So as you evolve, as you allow, you will see a much greater, faster transformation. Just be yourself. In that giant greatness that you are. It is time. Thank you. Why did Geraldine need this session today? Every time that she goes in deeper into these aspects of creation, she sees things from a different perspective and the ability to speak to people on different levels. When she speaks, it is the vibrational information that is imprinted within cells of each other. So it's important that the intention is pure and comes from somewhere very clear. Mm -hmm. Understanding the connection of consciousness to all things and returning home for a moment mm -hmm. allows her to realign with the vibration and the connection that is required to break anything that is affecting her from this terrestrial form. So I'd like for you to go ahead and create for her an easy path for her to get home. Show her that place in which she went through. So during her meditation, she can visit home.
thank you. Anything else she needs to know? That's it. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you.